What kind of crap I pulled off yesterday? Is this not your child? Look, ain't nobody about to keep a pregnancy a secret. It's your fault. You are the one that control what makes a woman get pregnant. It is just, look, I didn't call you because of that. No, don't, don't even, if you wanted to express something to me, you should have called me. I'll call you. So let me express to you why I call you. I'm in the hospital. I already have the child. When are you, your wife, and the kids going to come and see this child? Oh. Listen, you cannot keep this child a distance from your family. This is your children's step sibling. So I need you to call your wife and make plans with her and the kids so you guys can come see your, your new member of the family. I'm even in pain right now. I'm even in pain right now. It was a C session. Hello, so I'm in pain right now. I need somebody to come assist with this baby. Okay, whatever. Like I said, we're not about to argue about why I didn't make this a secret, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. We're not going to keep any child a secret. This child, they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't ask to come into this world. Let me tell you something. You need to get this straight. Who do you expect my son to call daddy? Hmm? Who do you expect my son to call dad? Who do you expect to, to take my son, to, to go see my son in his school performances? Who, who do you expect to play some ball and basketball with my child? Huh? You think he's going to be calling some random guy daddy? No. Who you expect him to play, play with? He's supposed to be able to play with his siblings, his step siblings. He's supposed to be able to celebrate his birthday with his step siblings. You and your wife are supposed to be able to give him birthday gifts and stuff. This is not going to be a secret. And you know it's not a secret anymore. I didn't need to ask you. I didn't need to consult you before call. In matter of fact, I called your phone and your wife picked up. So you can't blame me. Okay? You gave your wife that kind of freedom. It's not my fault. Just because she pick up the phone on me, I'm going to hang up. No, I get to talk to her too because there's a child in the picture now. She needs to know. That was your carelessness that got her to pick up the phone. And I'm going to make sure I get her number so I can contact her whenever I need to contact her. <laughs> I don't care what kind of attitude she's giving you right now. You have yourself to blame. You need to man up huh? and start to support your dual family. You have a dual family now. Okay? So you need to forget about how your wife feeling and try to fix that feeling. Try to fix her attitude. Try to make it up to her so that we all can peacefully coexist. Because you have, you are the only man in between us. So you have a dual family to take care of. Don't stress yourself over small stuff. Stuff that's already happened. No control over it. You have to be a father to my child as much as you, have, you are a father to your, your wife's children. Just focus on the child. Like I said, you need to bring, if you don't, even, if you, you don't, if you don't bring your wife, bring the kids to see their new addition to the, to the family. This is new addition. Bring your mom, bring your dad, bring, bring, bring some of your siblings, your sisters and brothers. They need to know that they have a new nephew. Huh? They need to know that they have a new nephew. You can't leave my son out of the picture. They need to, they need to know that they have a new nephew. So when my nephew have a need when his birthday and special occasions come up, they can also attend to him and show him some love. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what matters. You are talking about your mistake and trying to throw the blame on somebody. You can't throw the blame on my child or me. All right. So please figure out what you're going to do. If your wife doesn't want to come to the hospital, that's fine. But you need to bring the other kids to come see their new addition to the family. Also, when you're coming, please ask your wife to give you one of her most decent wig. Let me put it on my head because my hair look a hot mess right now.